Let's see what you guys decided we're going to do today. The winner is Navara again. <laughs> okay. So it's skewed a little bit this time. We had um, Castile in fourth place, Portugal in third place, and then uh, Granada second place, Navarra first place. So you really want me to do this one province minor dealie, huh? We're going to go for the one province minor of Navarra. And we're going to hope that we don't like die and we can actually get a union over, uh, over Aragon or whatever. Navarra. Why do people want to see this? I don't know, Zippy. Because because Navarra could be good. Because Navarra's challenging. People like challenging starts. So I'm thinking we should probably focus Mill to offset some of this this administrative skew and try to balance this out and actually get some some Mill tech at some point in this campaign. Pardon my yawning, man. I don't know what's up with me. Uh, we have no legal heir, no possible rivals. We have no rivals. No one's no one, no one hates us. We're, we're just nice, nice people. Uh, we're probably going to... We're going to start fabricating on England because, theoretically, depending on when the Hundred Years War fires, we could do a thing there. We collect from trade with that guy. We're going to transfer trade up here because we want to increase spy network speed on England. Is that the Irish like Flora did with Navarra? Um, don't you need, like, boats <laughs> to get up there before you can do that? I mean, that's kind of the idea with, with Navarra. They've got these missions. You reclaim the coast, and then you get a core on the board, and then build five transports, and then build a marketplace in Vizcaya. And then you get permanent claims on Munster. Unless you're saying that you should just do, like, a no-CB war, which seems also quite risky. Risky. Risky business. Well, we probably can't afford advisors. We do likely want to build our force limit, though, to be imposing. Brittany, Burgundy, Lorraine is all that affects, huh? Hmm. I think we'll actually transfer over here with the guy that's in Bordeaux. Bordeaux. And let's set him to establish communities so we can try to get improved relations with these other two guys a little bit quicker. Two one three general, not too bad. Navarra's coast being removed is more historical. Hmm. Looks like we might actually get our claim on England before the Hundred Years' War fires. Nope. Never mind. Just fired right now. So. So basically, uh, France usually starts off going after this. There might be time for us to still get the claim. We need to wait, let's see, 20 minus 12.81 divided by 1.83. We need four months. Well, three months. Three months and like six days. I'm going to wait and just to get a claim rather than taking the no CB war. It's a risk, but let's try it. I'm just going to hope that he focuses on up here. Nope. <laughs> nope. That was a bad idea. <sighs> Never mind. Fran's going to get a board. So we missed it by a little bit. I wonder if maybe... Th these traits are, are fixed, but I wonder if maybe we start in a way that we actually get like a... Um, spy network building speed guy. If that would work, or if we just have to hope that we get lucky. Yeah, I'm fine with restarting. We didn't really do much yet. Um, improve with Aragon. We prove here, and we spy on Mr. England, man, and we hope for a spy network guy. Hey, there's a spy network guy. Let's do it. Might make a difference. We'll see. What was that about England? What? Aragon is friendly with Castile. Excuse me. That's not allowed. They've gone and allied each other. Excuse me? What? What is this hug box? This hug box is unacceptable. Well, we have plus 50% increased spy network growth, so let's see what happens. I'm going to decline the alliance still with, with Castile. I I'm, I'm think we, we're still hoping for some sort of succession war to happen with, with us being defended by Aragon. Like, personal union on monarch death, succession war between Castile and Aragon. 
Francisco, Francisco, Francisco Febo. He sounds Italian to me. He's not, but all right. So Aragon's heir is still us, Joan de Trastamara. But we have an heir. Is us having a, an heir a good thing? I think it's a good thing. Estates, right? Yeah. We get a fair bit out of the uh, the mil the the uh, nobles' estate at least. The other ones are kind of weak. 112 this time around for the advisor or the, the military guy. Okay, so we have our claim on England. Uh, now we're just waiting and hoping that the Hundred Years' War does break out and then we declare a piggyback war. And hope that they don't just say, well, here's Maine, take it. <laughs> Which, knowing my luck, they, they, that's probably what they'll do, right? I mean, it's very difficult as an OPM. All right, it's time to teach them how to war. They actually took the war. Good. Let's come back from Aragon. Uh, we're just going to immediately declare our own war. We have to fight Portugal. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is this is what's really ridic ridiculous about it. Is it um, France has to fight England on its own. We have to fight Portugal. Like somehow I have to I have to win against Portugal as well. So okay. We're gonna have to go full on like flurry war -y method here. <laughs> Let's go. We're gonna go deeply into debt to make this happen. Um, Portugal has fourteen thousand troops, so we have a mountain fort to hold on to at least. But we can't just win with six troops. We're gonna have to win with like we're gonna need like twelve troops. So to hire twelve troops is gonna put us at double the force limit, which means we're gonna be paying double the maintenance for every unit. So, if the maintenance for an infantry is 0 0.21, 0 0.21 times 2, times, say, 12 units, although one of them is a cav, we're going to be paying, like, 5 ducats a month in, uh, in stuff. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is going to be ridiculous. Take a 5-year loan for 3 ducats. <laughs> we might want to do some development just to get our loan size up. Loan size is based on development, so uh, if we do one click here, then now our loan size is going to be four ducats. Yeah, I think I'm going to... I should have done this already, but let's turn on this, and then let's just spend all of our admin. And soon we'll get one more click here. We don't necessarily need to take loans yet. Also, this will raise our force limit, so we don't have to go quite so much. Over. No math, just loans? <laughs> just take the loans, huh? Alright, well, I, I'm a little leery about declaring right now because we need time to train troops, but, um... Leroy? Nice wall breach. Wall breach! We got a wall breach, guys! We're gonna win! Alright, so now we can take loans that are a massive six whole ducats. Uh... We're allowed to have how many loans? 93 loans. This is going to be so ridiculously painful. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't want to lose. We got to look carefully to see. We already have military access through Castile, so you know Portugal's on his way. So yeah, it's time to murk up. Um, there's no other option, really. We're going to have to murk up, and we're probably going to have to hold that like, I want this thing to progress. Ah, see? This guy, this guy. No. He's not gonna let me finish training the troop. Son of a bitch. He's gonna walk right through our fort and just come kill me. <laughs> what the hell with the morale? Did I, did I not have the morale turned up? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, it's so dumb. It's so bad. Well. That was the end of that run. Alright, well this time Aragon and Castile are proper rivals. Nice! Oh my god, we've got Antonio! Jimenez! 2-6, save game. Now that's a pretty good shock general right there. 
All right, let's go um, maintenance to zero though. Still, let's see. You know what? Castile does want English land, so I think we might be able to do something here. Let's actually go ahead and do the alliance with Castile and betray alliance down the road. So Castile wants this land, so he would theoretically join us in an offensive war against England. On a promise of territory, protective attitude towards Navarra minus 30, attitude towards enemies minus 60. Seriously, why are you being all friendly toward this guy? Why are you friendly towards him? Hmm? Well, let's still see. So I still think that we should probably prepare to... to murk up. Leonor. Leonor is not the best heir. But... Oh, wait a second. Wait a second, our traits are not fixed. I could have sworn that every single time I loaded up, we had secret, we had like infertile and the other thing, but so we're we're a four one zero, but our traits are not fixed. So there could be a better like set of traits you could start with. You call someone in on an independence war, it's like promised territory. Sure, but there there's a way we can get around that. All right, there's their war deck. Let's just see real quick how suicidal this whole thing looks. Portugal is obviously going to defend. Lencer Tyrone. This guy does not want to come in on anything because of the attitude towards enemies bullshit. Um, what's Portugal's force limit? Like 20? It's it's pretty high. They have 18 force limit. And we have no room for more dev. I don't think we can afford to just spend military points to try to dev up. So, yeah, I think we're gonna... Well, let's just try it. But we're only going to send over a single troop, and then we're just going to hang out with our 2-6 our general in the mountain. Of course, they can go right through. They can go, they can avoid this, they can, they can walk by. It used to be that Navarro was right on the coast, so they couldn't get through. But now, because we don't have a zone of control, they can go to Vizcaya and then just go to Laborde and, like, snipe my one stack. So I kind of need to, like, put the whole thing there. This feels very, very suicidal, I think. France is apparently subsidizing us? Well, that's handy. <laughs> Castile's not giving access. This is true. We don't have access yet. I wonder why not. They're very friendly with each other. It could just be that Portugal doesn't want the access yet. Ooh, big dog pile. Now England's at war with Burgundy as well. Wait, that means that Portugal's at war with Burgundy. That means that France, Burgundy might come help us. Yes. <laughs> now we're losing a lot of money every month, um, but we're just gonna have to, to, to grin and bear it. Huh. I guess it is true. Nope, nope. See, there it is. I was gonna say, they're friends. They are allies. There's like no real good reason why Portugal shouldn't be able to get access through Castile. And now he does have access. So we do have to worry about them coming. Um, he has that like 14 stack. I feel like we should probably still train another. This is stupid painful. Stupid painful. Uh, leaving a one stack there is not going to be enough. My guess is he's not going to go to our capital. He's just going to march and just go attack my army. Possibly. All right, hey, there's our event. The sad passing of King Alphonse the Magnanimous ends a reign of prestige and prosperity for the crown of Aragon. With his death, King Joan of Navarra looks set to take the throne. Thus begins a personal union between the crown of Aragon and the kingdom of Navarra. The lords of Catalonia, however, are not pleased by the succession of King Joan. However, they have demanded great concessions in exchange for their acceptance of his rule. 
Navara gains Restoration of the Union CB against Aragon. Or we can become a junior partner underneath Aragon. Having a CB on Aragon is not going to work. We're not going to win. Can't you just call Castile against Aragon and get the PU? Hmm. Alright, let's try it. I do think that we'd prefer to have um, either be a subject under Castile so we can get outside support, or we would like to to be the overlord over somebody else. Alright, before they can reinforce, should we just do this? Like, or do we want to just wait for Burgundy? Let's see what Six Shock can do. We have to leave behind one troop just to maintain... Uh, nope, that's wrong. Leave behind one troop to maintain control of the siege, but... Jimenez. Jimenez, what do you have for me? Jimenez rolls an 8 in the fire versus Earl of Avranches. Avranches, 9. That's a 10 versus a 2. But the reinforcements are coming. Nice! 8! He's trying! And it's still not gonna matter, it's not gonna be enough. It's just there's too many reinforcements, we can't do it, we can't hold off. We've lost. Yep, see this is a bad idea, guys. A bad idea. Alright, I think for now we're just gonna hang out and see if they all pile on. And if we have to just flee behind French land and go like hide in Burgundy or something? Isn't it 100% if you lose your capital? Yep. <laughs> yep, sure is. It's 100% if I lose my capital and I have no occupations myself. As long as I have an occupation, even just a... Like a non-fort province, then I'm not gonna be 100%. Come on, take it! Nice, we got it! Okay, that's good, that's good. So we have the siege. Um... Uh, any chance we could actually knock Portugal out? I doubt it. He's got two forts. That fort had been mothballed, but... This is not as defensive as our capital, so... What if we... Throw our 12 stack at the 3 stack, trying to make him pull off. I bet we could kill the 3 stack before he reinforces. Nice. Nice, look at that attrition. Or possibly attack this- Nice, he broke the siege! Well, he kind of broke the siege. Did he break- Nope, he didn't give up all the status. Oh, he's giving it up! He's giving it up! <laughs> he's gonna give it up! Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. It's too late. We must fight. All right, we're not gonna fight for the whole amount of time. It clearly, clearly, we need to retreat from this. That did just give them some siege status, unfortunately, but... Um... They're moving around and stuff, it's interesting. So, these guys, hopefully, are gonna go threaten Mr. Portugal Man. No useful advisors? No, we can't afford advisors. We're already in debt, just trying to support the army. A battle will begin here between Burgundy and Portugal. Yeah, buddy! Go for it! Kick his ass! Get him! Kick his ass! Do it! Get him! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. Alright, we need to, like, just get rid of as many of these troops as possible so we don't go into as much debt now. Burgundy for the win, man. Burgundy is a baller. There will be a battle here between Navarra and Portugal. So there is a stack that is heading that way. Battle will begin on March 14th. Alright, that's uh, not ideal. I'm gonna lose one of these mercs, looks like. Because I got greedy trying to get priority on sieges. Doesn't really matter how much priority we get on sieges because ultimately Burgundy should allow us to win the war. Can I claim on somebody? Sure.
Lovely uh, 20,000 siege of a 6,000 defensive fort he's got there. Darn, somehow we didn't make it here in time. Alright, one, uh, one less occupation for me. So, Portugal has um, only negative eight war score so far, but I'm assuming he's going to want out soon with Burgundy, since Burgundy's kicking his butt. Uh, this fort is expensive, but we kind of have to keep it maintained, otherwise... Whoa. Steel, what are you up to? Oh, he's already at war. Attacker against Granada in the Castilian War of Granada. All right. Wait, really? He just gets to fight Granada and Tunis? That's easy for him. War score for Laborde is 10. That means that if we can get him down to low enthusiasm and we have 10 war score, we'll, we'll actually be able to demand it already. But, again, we have crazy amounts of debt. We're allowed to have uh, 104 loans and we have 40. We might want to just still do a little bit more development to raise the size of our overall loans. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go back to development edict for a moment. And we're just, <laughs> just going to click away. Yeah, I don't actually want to fight you, Portugal. England is landing troops in Portugal. Yep. He's landing an 8 stack in Algarve. I think that we might want to just peace out, honestly. Like... I want money, but I can't risk... I can't risk fighting any more of this. We're going into debt every month that we're staying in war. Like... Let's just knock out Portugal. And then now we have 14 war score with England. And we just take Laborde, and we just take whatever money we can get from him. Well, that's certainly a bit of inflation. We're exactly at 8 war score from the ticking war score, so no reason to wait for an extra monthly tick. Negative war score from battles is fine. Yeah, I think we're just going to do this. Attack the 8-stack? We're already black flagged. You meant, like, like move down there? I, I, I would have to march all the way around because of the... Probably, I think, possibly because of the return province. I'm not sure. It's too late to worry about it now. We're debt-free! <laughs> we only have 11 inflation from that little... that little deal. <laughs> nice! Alright, we've succeeded. Now, in theory... We could have a free core on Laborde if we own a core of Vizcaya. Somehow, we need to get Vizcaya. I think that we don't core Laborde. I think that we just be greedy and we hope that we can get vassalized by Castile. We're still small enough, he should be able to vassalize us. We're at peace, we like him by 190. As soon as his war is over, or, well, he should be able to offer it now, anyway, 